feel like you have to worry about what Liquid's going to turn up on today. This is an aggressive start, though. Link already managing to get the first pick in Toronto, having to fall back off of this. And by the looks of it, they're just going to keep trying to put the pressure on. Link's going in alone. The raid boss pushing through as he already finds a couple and has another one alongside him. What's going on? Well, uh, that was an interesting start for sure. They're dominating the site and the, re the retake here. Indeed it does. Yeah, they played off C site right at the start looking for some more garage presence. And now they're having to fight back into the site, not looking to be overrun by the numbers of Team Liquid. The dash out and the swing by Glove gives them that first kill. Team Liquid on the back foot now as Link gets torn apart. The ranged duels are swinging massively in favor of Oxygen to start it off and to finish it as well with Yampi being the last man alive and a 1v3 to win out. The spike not planted for him, currently being defused. It is a little bit of a struggle on this map in particular. However, Sisto doesn't care. He's just walked out of garage and see you later, Yampi. Rolling Thunder perfectly timed. Solkas is able to walk right up with it and take the kill on Desist now. Securing the site, putting Team Liquid into a four versus three with the follow up kill on the Unity. Now, Team Liquid can play this one nice and slow. They've got the better weapons. They've also stretched the Oxygen's economy so thin that there is a small chance the defenders even contemplate a save. And with Glove falling, that chance becomes even greater, although I see them still swinging in for these duels and not doing too well. Uh. And the Mitz has at least grabs a double. It's a 1v2. It starts to look doable. The cage up will stop him from pushing through. And with the time being so low, this seems like a very tough round to lose for Team Liquid. They've spotted that Mitz has wants to go for this. We're playing in the link from Oxygen. They've got very fast rotation into B. There's already three players here. Well, that wasn't ideal, but the follow-up kill was there. Oxygen coming in big over in the corner. Glove is able to take a double. And now that spike is delayed getting into sight. The rotates are already underway. Both players coming in from the seaside connector. Cryptics catches one on the back side. The swing by Unity, but the wall actually blocks his vision. He's going to try to take the 1v2, but it's not. On the side, I said that normally it's a bit of a struggle. And while there's also an off on the other side. Oh, that catches him on the way out as well. This is such an important round and Scream is just walking all over them, man. Oxygen losing the B side, losing three. Retrieve that up instead, leaving Cryptics to lurk and possibly catch him off guard in the last seconds of the round. Maybe expecting him to push him. Comfortable on that map and considering Liquid are not exactly doing too hot yeah. there. It, it seemed like an odd ban with Haven hanging over them where they have been much more consistently smashed and oh, oh no! no! The blind, it was at the perfect time to ruin Glove's chances. His hopes, his dreams, Scream. Scream's trying to help them out, man. He's popping a couple of kills, a couple of shots rather, onto his own teammates. Oh God, this is uh, not looking ideal for Oxygen. And yeah, you're very right. It was the Seeker, of course, that blinded him up. And we had the, the Tiger was about to be deployed. Low bracket liquid, sometimes unstoppable. And that's what they keep facing off against. Each time they come up against them in the MEA, this is a team that will get eliminated if they lose. And so Liquid just then come out in their best possible form. They are ripping them a new one in every single round that comes through. Toronto is giving it a damn good try in this one. But even still, it's a 3v2. And he's stuck in the corner and then wall banged by Yam because he was 10 HP. So <laughs> they get a 1v3. And Zistow that has to get it done. He's had that lockdown all game. Oh. Afterwards. Oh, he peeks after the shot goes through, expecting to try and catch Yumpy without anybody alongside him. Instead, he's met by a bullet to the face. I, I almost am starting to wonder if Oxygen have won an opening. One enemy remaining. I'm running through it in my head. Zistow might have gotten one, but... <laughs> that that that's how it's about it. This has got to, because that that's the oh. <laughs> get your hands in the air. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, five versus four, and uh, oxygen again on the back foot. Flash up by Globe. He's gonna try to get something done. But hey, at this point, maybe you're thinking map two. Map two is gonna be a lot of fun. Was it breeze and then follow into split? If I remember correctly. 
Okay. Oh, hold on. Wait, is this going to be around for oxygen? Please. They might be putting two on the board, Tom. It could finally happen. They've even stopped the spike from being planted. Yambi! It's about to be a tough half, that's for sure. Link, oh, he did it in the pistol last time. And he's come out with a double in this. Both headshots as well. Keep giving this guy a ghost. Just, just keep giving it to him. He's just looking disgusting with it. Four versus three. Liquid. Looking too damn hot to stop. Scream gonna be shut down. Cryptic so close. The flash is good. No peek from Toronto. He ends up getting blinded and taken down on the close swing. This is very dangerous indeed. Just now around the back and not even he can escape. 12 to 1. Oh, Tom, let's put it that way. It brings us back to the topic of, of Icebox. Of banning that out. It just seemed like such a strange decision. See if they can do anything. Enemy oh, Spy, it's not pretty for Scream, and he will eventually fall. Not gonna he be would have died quicker than that in the matchmaker game. From last time. Maybe. Like, to be <laughs> no. fair, I always get one tapped in my, in my matchmaker. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm against like, the odds of the game. Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> Sorkas has got a triple. It's left up to Unity. He's fighting for two rounds, Mitch. To give them a chance in Hell on Haven. Can he bring this back? No, no, he can't. Do you know what? I think that was actually quicker. In that little bit of a foothold, those foundations built. Already moving towards the side. What? Two players stacked up towards the back. It's so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Link certainly does have a big smile on his face with those two kills connected. <laughs> and Zistel's gonna be last alive. One versus five. And no be an insta heal. That was unfortunate for Yampy, but he's just getting the info. A scream follows up, taking down Toronto. The scout on the sidelines there for the body shot. Finishing Mitez off and trying to do a bit no. more damage. What a shot! Yampi connecting it perfectly, repositioning as well. And Glove is desperately trying to find anybody to take down, walking into the scout, but not getting drawn. 1v3, still winnable, but two rifles. Those upgrades that Liquid found, definitely going to... I'm hoping it will be here. Are they going to expect the opportunity? Oh. Yeah, they don't! He shouldn't be able to get up. For defending... Even got the trip wires on the right side as they come around. Now Link is going That's to end nice. up being pulled into it, actually. That, uh, that didn't quite work out for him. They don't know Cryptix is here on the back side, but with the Spectre and his position given away, he'll be dropped in oxygen. They steamroll into this. Three versus two. Yampi does well to find that second kill. The ultimate pop to give him that little bit of range capability, but he's not yet spotting anyone. And there's a very late play coming in from Viper. Presumably, we'll have a, a couple of little post plan setups to see a snake bite still in play. Zistow taken down as the numbers continue to thin out on the oxygen side. The good thing here, though, Tom, time is on their side. They know full well that they have this one in the bag. The flash going to catch Scream. He swings wide, and now the time is... Well, that pretty much sums it up. Again, he's not playing a judge or a specter. The man has got an operator. Oh, here we go. Scream gets out. Uh, it's, it, it's just why we love watching him on the radar so much. It's the ability to run. hit that instant headshot. And now they're going to try and use the combination of the lockdown and the cosmic divide. Looks like they're actually going to try and fight within it. Delay this push a little bit more. Of course, it doesn't actually cover off the whole site, so they can kind of sit to the back of it. Now, one of the players is actually going to be detained, but the other Five two down, still managing feet. to hold on at least a little bit longer. So, cast the timing's actually not great for him, but he runs one back and forth remaining. through the divide and ends up finding a kill for it. It's now less all on to Zistow. 1v2, and of course, Yumpy's there to finish it. They it was absolutely gorgeous to look at, and here's a flash coming straight through. Toronto's dead as can be. Scream continuing to aggress. What a shot connected as three are farmed up quickly on the back side. Mitez and it's just a double dump. Hey, I think I think Loth is not a fan. Well, I'm, I'm a fan when it's Scream. I think that's the exception because he can just destroy anyone that walks Rainbow. into his path. Already again, it's another opener. Now they use the flash to go down middle to try and get Scream an opener, and then he goes back and says, Hey, I'll just do it again. Why not? Two kills on this side already, fighting on the back side. Out of scream, but he connects the bullet before that. This is just ridiculous, and I think Oxygen at this point, they have got to be feeling deflated. Looks like another Brazil is pressure on. Come on. I'm putting the pressure on, Ryan, but uh, I, I know that you thrive under pressure, so... 
Now, they've taken quite a lot of control into middle. This is something that's happened a few times, though. Mitez has been able to take this angle. It's expected, and Yumpy is watching for it. The rest of the team, though, aren't going to be able to isolate Cryptix, and Toronto is going to find Yumpy as well. Probably the best opportunity we've seen from them in a long time, but they lose a player. On Oxygen have been offering up individual fights. It's felt almost like a little bit of ranked is being played out. Screams being spotted, though. Oh, he's able to get the first right in vision of the AWP. Of course, the blind stopping the shot from connecting, but now it's a 1v2 and Scream needs to clutch this out. Toronto shutting him down with the AWP. Oh, 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 that timing is so poor. Oh, and Unity's just staring at the wall. He, he was flash. They throw it all the way down mid and he peeks with it. Now they use the flash beautifully. The way that they're seizing the map control, the way that they're forcing these fights. Yes, the duels themselves might be 1v1 fights, but they are set up in a way that puts Liquid... That's right, it's, it's the last. The, the, there's no other time he's going to get to use it. Come on, man! Toronto's just gone. He didn't even get to see anyone. And now they're facing straight into this site again. I said that they've had a lot more success on B. This is why you don't go A. 10 in the majority. It felt more like Oxygen were, were loose and deathmatchy. Oh, my oh. God! Yampi's up behind them. He's just crept in through the crevice and pulled it into a 4v2 as if Oxygen and Oxygen fans needed any more reasons to lose sleep tonight. It's Yampy like a specter coming in with a ghost. And although he'll fall, there's time on Liquid's side and manpower as well. You're going to have to catch a pretty nice timing here. And well, it, it, couldn't, it literally couldn't be any worse. And any worse, it couldn't be awesome. He gets full shield, which is insane. Obviously, he has to heal up. It doesn't instantly happen. Zolkus continuing to push forward. The spray full okay. blind. I'm not going to be finding all too much. Scream! No, turn! What? No, it's Cryptics with Scream's picture, in fact. Feels ready to take this duel, but he's not checking it. The cam spots them. He's not landing the spray. It all comes down to Cryptics looking for 12 rounds on the board. The spike in his possession, but kind of effective, actually. Now that you say it, Tom. Headshot. Well, Solkus is down at least. There's going to be a trade. Flash through, blinds Toronto. He dashes out. They got the info. Hey, that was the action. That we never expect them to win. And the whole goal here for Yumpy is just to try and catch someone over on the rotate. And that's exactly what he's going to do. The first one goes his way. He's got his teammate nearby. The peak. Oh, it's going to be a kill of the classic. Surely they can't win this round, Mitch. Now this is this is getting painful. Uh, Oxygen need to win this one. They really, really do, and it's right into a Viper's pit. We go, Cryptics waiting for them there. And look who's about to come into vision. Nice little flick. He lost so much health. One shot to the body. That'll do it. Nice and easy. And no, another no, to close no. it out. Twelve to three. Bit of a joke. <laughs> now I genuinely feel like I'm DJing a funeral. Like I, I really do. Uh, Liquid are looking pretty good. Oxygen, well. They're on this roster and they're straight up executes. Oxygen just can't adapt to them. They're not oh, thinking on their feet nearly quick enough and Screams already got three kills. No! It's almost like it's fair to say. Pretty tough call. Oh, giant of Mitez, but a 3k now on the board. This man does not want to end it here. He has something more to say about turn one to spot him out. But it's going to be a fight with Yampy and Yampy spotted him there. That's the info to play with. That's